Let's learn how to display the mouse coordinates with an event structure and while loop combination. To begin with, I will place an event structure and then make the event structure process mouse motion. So I'm right clicking and then say edit events handled. I'm going to do pane and then look under mouse. Specifically, I'm looking for mouse move. Now this means that any mouse motion is going to trigger this particular subdiagram of the event structure. I'll create an indicator for the mouse coordinates. Next, I need to wrap this in a while loop to make the event structure run in a continual fashion. Create a control for the stop. And then I'm going to add a second subdiagram to process the stop button. The stop button is right here, and this is processing a value change on the stop button. To finish this off, I need to move the stop button inside this subdiagram and then rewire it back to the stop button or the stop control on the while loop. All right, let's see how, how we're doing. Here it's detecting the horizontal motion. We can see the horizontal coordinate changing. Let's look at the vertical. And indeed, we see the vertical moving. Looks like the smallest values are up here in the upper left corner. If you'd like to be able to get access to the horizontal and vertical indicators uh, individually, you can use the structure unbundle. And I'll use the one called unbundle by name. Connect that here. And I'm gonna pull down one more for the vertical. Right click and then create an indicator for each one of these. Move those to a more convenient place. And let's try giving it a run and see what it does. And sure thing, we see each one of these individual indicators is working as we expect. You might also try replacing the indicator with a graphical indicator. Let's try the one called the meter. And I'll do that for both horizontal and vertical. This gives you more of a visual indicator of the mouse coordinates. Move those underneath. And then we know that the upper limit is in the hundreds. So let me just set that to number 500 for convenience. And give this a run. And that makes kind of a nice way to look at what the mouse position is doing. All right, now you know how to display the mouse coordinates.